Today, Road to GH will reveal that Christina has been suffering from numerous shocks, so much so that she has become desperate and attempted suicide. Christina is enduring a severe psychological crisis as the pain of losing her child has shattered her soul. This loss devastated her, but it wasn't the only hardship she faced. Her love life also faced turmoil as it was hindered and Blaze, the person she deeply loved, left her. This separation felt like another knife twisting in the already bleeding wound inside her, making Christina feel as though everything in her life was falling apart. Every passing day became a new battle filled with a whirlwind of emotions between suffering, loss, and the torment of loneliness. She wasn't only dealing with the pain of losing her child, but also the emptiness from losing the person she loved the most. Christina felt trapped in a spiral of helplessness and despair, with all sources of encouragement seemingly vanishing. In her heart, even the faint glimmers of hope seemed to have faded away, making it incredibly difficult for her to find an escape from this crisis. Christina fell into an even deeper psychological shock when she discovered that her father, Sonny, was dating Natalia, the woman who not only hindered her love with Blaze, but also belittled and insulted her same-sex relationship. Knowing that the person who caused her so much pain now had a close relationship with her own father made Christina feel disgusted and lose trust. Natalia not only destroyed Christina's happiness, but also embodied the prejudice and hatred she had to face while fighting for her love and identity. Natalia's attack on Christina's same-sex relationship felt like adding fuel to the fire, deepening the pain and anger in Christina's heart. This made Christina feel betrayed by the person closest to her, leaving her completely lost in seeking support and love. Negative emotions like disgust, disappointment, and loneliness overwhelmed Christina, forcing her to confront increasingly intense internal conflicts. Drowning in pain and despair, Christina decided to end her life when her mental state became so unbearable that she couldn't endure it any longer. She felt utterly abandoned, not just by the world around her, but by her own father, Sonny. At a time when Christina needed comfort and care the most, Sonny was preoccupied with his relationships, especially with Natalia, the woman who had caused Christina so much suffering. Sonny's apparent neglect of his daughter's agony pushed Christina to the brink of profound loneliness. The feeling of being forgotten, unloved, and deeply lost led Christina to believe that there was no other way out than to end everything. This event marked the culmination of a series of psychological traumas she had endured. Christina's death was not just an act of despair, but also a silent cry for help that she never had the chance to express clearly. It left a void that could never be filled in the lives of those around her, particularly Sonny, who would likely face guilt and regret as he realized that while he was engrossed in his personal relationships, he failed to protect his daughter from this profound inner crisis. Christina harbored a deep-seated hatred and the intention to sabotage the relationship between Natalia and Sonny, just as Natalia had made her endure so much pain. Every time she thought of Natalia now being close to her father, Christina was consumed with rage. She felt that she had to do something to take revenge on Natalia and reclaim justice for herself. However, Christina soon realized that, no matter how much she desired revenge, she was powerless to change the situation. The sense of helplessness engulfed her, as though she was trapped in a cycle of suffering and anger with no escape. Christina understood that every attempt to destroy their relationship only increased the tension within herself, potentially dragging her even deeper into despair. Although she longed to hurt Natalia as Natalia had hurt her, the harsh reality made Christina feel powerless, as though she was facing an endless battle where she would always be on the losing side. 